What's up, guys? Coach Chris here from the Old Town Athletic Campus, bringing you your third boot camp workout. Today, I have with me Mama Dukes from OTAC, of course, and I've got Melissa with us from PATH. Thanks for being here. Y'all ready to roll? Let's get it on. Starting with a pull squat. Five of these. Ready? And go. Little pulse at the bottom. And two. Three. Four, one more. And five, seal jacks. Arms out, take it straight up to the side. Five, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Push up position, go into a plank jack. I'm gonna show it from the side. Mama Duke's over there, gonna be showing some modifications throughout the workout as well. We're gonna do 10 of these, all right? Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Good, next one. Leg lower is on the mat. You can place your hands underneath your hips for a little bit more support. Legs are going straight up, coming straight down. You can modify the single leg variation or simply don't go that low. Stop about halfway. Pull them back up. Got one more. And good. Roll it back over. We're going to a half kneeling stretch. So remember these three workouts. We start from the top, work to the bottom, and then finish with a stretch. So half kneeling position. Staying nice and tall, good posture. I'm activating, driving this hip forward, stretching out through the quad and the hip flexor. Let's hold this for about 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and switch. Tall position, core con contracted, driving that belly button back, and then pushing that hip forward. It's not just about how far we can go here. Staying tall, good posture. No overextension in that lumbar spine. Like, look how far I can go. No, that's not how it works. Got to maintain good positions. Back to the top. Pull squat. Five, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, and five. Seal jacks, go. One, two, three, four, five. Plank jacks from that push-up position. 10, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Back to the floor. Hands under hips for that support. Legs straight up. Legs straight down. Go. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. Roll it over, stretch it out. It's all position, core engaged, driving the hip forward. Feels good, right? How you feeling, Melissa? Switch it up, other side. Is 
10 seconds. Three, two, one. Last time, round one. Move on to phase two. Full squat, five, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Seal jacks, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Push up position, plank jacks, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one to the mat. Hands under if you'd like. Five lowers and go. One, two, three, four. And five, good. Stretch it out. Round one in the books. Moving on to round two. There you go. We'll switch it up. Some rebound lunges coming up. Little side lunge variation. About three more seconds. All right, to the top we go. Round one done. Throw that mat too far there. All right, rebound lunges. We're gonna do three to each side. Focus on the quality, right? Quality of repetition. And take a knee up, fall right out to the side, come right back to the top. A little bit of balance at the top. Simple three there. Take it over to the other side. One. Two, and three, side to side hops, 10 of them, just nice and easy, side to side, ready? And go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, mountain climbers. Going back to that push up position, keeping the hips down, driving the knees forward, 10 on each. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four. Ten more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Go into a beetle curl position. I'll stay sideways. So knees are off the floor, hands are underneath the shoulders. We're simply gonna take one foot up to the sky. Five on each. Keep that knee bent. Drive the bottom of your shoe up to the ceiling. A lot of times everyone wants to extend back behind them. And relax, try to get that knee in that bent position. All right, so going to the mat once again, on your back. This is our stretch at the end of the round here. We're gonna start just lying flat. Elbows are gonna be bent. Drive and slide straight up the floor. Right into an overhead reach. Keeping that core in a good position. And then we're gonna slide right back down. Feel that stretch and that pull in your mid back. Slide it back up, big reach overhead. 
and then pull it down. Five of these total. Nice time to chill, catch your breath. That's three for me. Reach. Pull. Last one. Good, back to the top. We go! All right, rebound lunges, three on each side. A little bit of balance, ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Other side. One. Two. And three. Side to side hops. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Push up position. Going back to that mountain climber. Ten on each. Ready? And go. One, two, three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, two, and one. Don't kick from that push up position or that beetle crawl position, sorry. Right in here, knees bent. Five on each. Keep the hips down. Extend through your hip. Bottom of your shoe. Goes up to the ceiling. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to the mat. Stretch it out. Core contracted, drive the belly button down and reach overhead. Take some deep breaths here. Big inhale as you pull it down. Exhale as you reach it overhead. Five slides total. My last one here. All right, back up to the top. Last one, round two. Rebound lunges, three of them. And go. One. Two. Three. Other side. One, two, and three, side to side, go. One, two, three, six, seven, nine, and ten. Mountain climbers. Ten on each. Ready? And go. Two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beetle position. Back to the donkey kick. Beetle, beetle. With a B, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Drive it up. Make sure your heart is right between your hands. Eyes are looking down to the floor. Last one of these. Hardest movement around two. Stay with me. Good, back to the floor, stretch it out. Still feeling good over there, Melissa? Nice. 
Nice smooth reaches. Contract as you pull down. That's two from me. Three. Four. And five. Round two in the books. All right, a little bit more balance work. Start with a single leg hinge. I'm gonna do three of these on each side. I'll show it from the side once again. All we're gonna do is stand on one foot. We're hinging forward at the chest, extending the back leg back, slowly coming back up to the top. Three on each side. Feel free to join. Yeah, go. I'm counting that first rep. I'm not getting cheated, dude. Three on each side. Challenge that balance, challenge the wobble. Get a focal point. Good. All right, hop to hold. So we're going a little squat hop. When we get to the bottom, we're gonna hold for a three count and then we'll come back to the top. All right, little squat jump and hold at the bottom. Ready? And go. Hop, hold, one, two, three, reset. Reset. Jump. Two, three, reset. Jump. Two, three, reset. Last one. Jump. Two, three, and relax. Dope touches. Starting in a push up position. You're gonna push back, reach back and touch your toe. Doing five on each side. Go ahead, give it a shot. Leave those feet grounded, leave those feet grounded. Just push back and reach to your opposite foot. Spread out your feet a little bit there, Melissa, and keep them on the ground, it'll help you. Makes it easier when you keep those feet down. Relax. Side plank. Probably want to use the mat for this one. So we're gonna stack the feet, stack the hips. We're gonna add in an overhead reach here. Five on each side. Taking to the side plank position, making sure that your forearm's nice 90 degree at the elbow. Yep, bottom knee down for modification. Starting here, smooth reach overhead. Hold it right down. Two, three, four, and five. Other side. A little sweat's a good thing. Two, three, four, and five. That's our four exercises. Now we got the stretch. Go into your back. Pull one knee into your chest. And then you're gonna simply take it across your body and let your opposite arm go out to the side. So I've got my right knee holding it with my left hand, pulling it across my body, stretching out through my hip, my back, my chest. Opposite arm is hanging out. Five seconds. 
All right, switch it up. Pull the opposite knee in. I've got the left knee now. I'm pulling it across my body with my right hand. Relax your head. This arm hanging out to the side, my left arm hanging. Three, two, one. Back to the top. Two rounds left and we're all done. Single leg hinge, working on that balance again. Three on each, nice and smooth, nice and slow. Go ahead. Fight the wobble. That's three, switch it up. Next up, the toe touches from that push-up position. When we're starting down, hips are down, good push-up position. We push back, touch the toe, opposite foot, opposite hand. Five on each. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Side plank. Reach. Stack the feet, stack the hips. Set position. Reaching overhead five times, nice and smooth. One, two. Three, four, five, other side. Go. Two, three, four, and five. To your mat. On your back, stretch it out, relax. Knee to chest, pull it across your body. Opposite arm going out to the side, relax that head. Focus on your breathing. Too many better stretches than this one. Amazing. Three, two, one. Final time. You're almost there. Almost there. Single leg hinge, balance. Ready? And go. That's two. And three. Other side.
point. Two. And three. Good. Hop to hold. Ready? And go. Hop. Hold. Two. Three. Ready? Jump. Two. Three. And jump. Two. Three. And jump. Two. Three. Last one. Jump. Two. Three. Toe touches. <laughs> Five on each. Push it back. Touch the toe. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Side flank. There you go. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, and switch. Got this last one, and then we stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to the mat. Stretch it out. Knee to chest. Pull it across the body. Enjoy. Switch it up. Need a chest. Pull it across. Arm out to the side. Congratulations. Workout three in the books. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thanks to Falk Your Fresh for uh, providing the opportunity. Hope you guys had a good workout. We'll catch y'all later.